Hi, it's Faceless Tech. I've got a new pair of smart glasses. Um, after my uh, success in my uh, W8 WS2812 uh, pair of sunglasses from last time, I thought I'd reuse the platform, um, but this time I've added a TV Big On. Uh, some of you might not actually know what a TV Big On is. It's a device um, that, with most TVs, with the um, off, off and on um, functionality with the uh, remotes, Basically, all like Samsung tellies will have the same on and off command, all uh, Sony tellies and so on. So you can basically make a list um, device that goes through all the different lists that turns the uh, telly off. So in one fell swoop, you can uh, turn all tellies off. So uh, now we've got that out of the way. Um, I've been meaning to build one for a while, but I've not really thought of like an ingenious um, thing to put it in because you don't want it to be like something dead obvious that you have to really obviously point at the telly. Um, you know, then everyone to be like, oh, why is the telly gone off? And then you're there with the bloody remote trying to, you know, obviously turning it off and on. So um, I thought, I know what I do. I haven't seen anyone do this as well, put them in a pair of sunglasses. Um, I think it's quite, it would, like in the summer, and it's a bit bad as the winter now, but in the summer, imagine wearing these on a night out, you could easily have uh, quite a lot of fun with them. Um, but as before, I have used a uh, quad A battery out of a uh, disposable e-cig they basically they have the ones that look you know ones that are a bit larger than a cigarette kind of look like a cigarette anyway those ones they have um, a rechargeable lipo in them so if you do know someone that uses them um, and then they are just like thrown away you can uh, salvage the uh, lipos out of them um, so what I've done is cut the arm but this time instead of cutting the middle of the arm which I did in the last pair I just cut the bottom out it was kind of an accident a happy accident because it worked out quite well because as you can see, it, where if, once it's got the heat shrink on it, you can't really tell. There's just the charge port um, around the side. That just uses a standard LiPo um, charger I've got that you just hook in there. And I've run the wires with a bit of super glue over to the sides of the board, which um, has got an 80 tiny 85. Uh, it's got a 2N22222 uh, transistor. Um, there's a little uh, DC uh, DC. Uh, pump boost which um, in the last pair of uh, smart glasses I uh, couldn't use the same um, DC boost because it was actually outputting about 6 volts over 6 volts so it was overclocking the um, 80 tiny and affecting because this is a really time sensitive uh, operation it's doing you can't really uh, get away with it um, so I had to use this it was kind of like a bit of a, uh, a wing and a prayer I actually sent off the board and I hadn't actually received this yet and then when I got it put it all together and, and it, lucky enough it worked because it doesn't really use much much power really so uh, there's just a switch on here, to turn it on and off. There's a reset button because this version of the firmware that I've run on this um, basically runs through the um, commands once and then stops. So if you've like turned the telly off or you've been too close, you've been too far away and you haven't done it, you can just basically flip just incon inconspicuously, just tap this button and it'll just uh, re re go through the commands. Also, if everyone is kicking off that like you've turned the telly off, you can quickly just uh, tap it and uh, you know you get all the louts off your back that way. Uh, and I've just uh, um, uh, rooted the uh, LED lead around here with a bit of super glue as well. I uh, use a bit of hot glue on the back of the LED because otherwise it because um, the bridge touches your face, so otherwise it would short it out. Um, and it's just on the front there. If you do turn it on, hit the reset button, you can actually see it blinking away. And that's it really. As you can see from the outside, from the front, you cannot tell that they are a pair of um, normal sunglasses really, can you? Um, I haven't actually worn these out yet. Well, I have worn them out, but I've not actually tried them. It'd be funny to go to like uh, somewhere like PC World or like if you, you yanks, if like a Target. Uh, you can imagine they're standing in front of the big TV display and just turning them all off. It would be quite uh, quite funny. Like, um, uh, was it Bloomberg that uh, got banned from CES for life for doing that? Um, yeah, anyway, as usual, uh, link in the description, blog post, um, board files, and all that kind of stuff if you want to build your own. They are quite easy to do, quite fun. But yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.